because um, I, I, you know, I, I spoke to a man who was actually holding the documents in his hand. He told me about it, right? He said he was, uh, he infiltrated the global uh, cabal at the UN level, right? And one of the things that he uh, was able to, um, to, to tell me about from his own personal experience, what he witnessed himself was uh, these documents that show that the plan, there is a plan. And this was several years ago, right? The plan was to infiltrate 100 million illegal immigrants. And at that point, point, they were already at 40 million. And these people would dilute what they called the pool of patriots. Those were their words, right? Yes, that's what their words are. The anonymous people that this guy says he infiltrated at the highest levels of the global cabal. And you can take that to the bank, which they control. Um, no, she's speaking absolute nonsense. Now, yes, Laura Logan is capable of sounding educated when she speaks. She's saying the same sort of thing that you'll hear from Alex Jones or Tucker Carlson or Marjorie Greene. She sounds marginally more coherent when she says it, but it is all utter nonsense. It's globalist anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. We're gonna get to the blood stuff soon, but um, bear in mind, Newsmax is apparently not gonna have her on. Uh, either ever or until you forget that they said that. So there have been consequences for what she was saying that she apparently stepped over a line and Newsmax has now canceled her. Uh, but with all that said, Jessica, what do you think? Yeah, it's really difficult when you have, I don't know, it's this divide and conquer mentality, right? Instead of calling out people who are members of the capitalist ruling class who are running our economy and destroying lives for working class people. Uh, you can call that out. You can call out that you don't like the amount of power rich people have in this country. But to say that they're all Jewish and that it's a cabal is not right. There are so many working class Jewish people in this country. To make it about an ethnic, cultural, or religious group does a disservice to everybody. It, it increases violence, anti Semitic violence against the Jewish community. And it's just disgusting. It's typical U Newsmax tactics of like, let's make them defi uh, fight each other across mm -hmm. these lines of ethnic culture and ethnic groups, culture groups and race instead of calling it for what it is, which is the problem in our country is that it's run by corporatists. Yeah. Uh, and so yeah, it's, it's their typical narrative and it's getting dangerous the amount of anti-Semitic rhetoric we have in this country. Yeah, 100% and, and it would be like, it would be bad enough if you got all of this insanity, but it was accompanied by, okay, so I've sketched out that there's this network of international rich people and here is what we should do to limit their influence. We're gonna have higher taxes on the wealthy. We're gonna stop them from funding political campaigns. We're gonna increase regulation on their business, make sure that they're not breaking the law. But you'll notice that it never is. When they point out that Jews control all of media and banking, the solution is always now go out there and kill regular people. It's never actually limit the power of rich people, never limit the influence of rich people. They hate. The hypothetical global elite, they're perfectly fine with all the individuals. Isn't it weird how that always works out? But as I alluded yeah. to, it does get even, Oh, sorry, you wanna jump in before we go to this next video? I was just gonna hammer on your point and say that it's it's why people are saying right now that the response to the rise of like socialism or people addressing the problems with capitalism is fascism, it's all they've got. Yeah, yeah, 100%. How about let's stop letting them buy elections? If you think that they're so evil and you wanna stop that next 60 million illegal immigrants from coming out across the border. Stop letting them buy candidates, how about that? Peter Thiel literally can just drop hundreds of millions of dollars to create Senate candidates. How about we stop that from happening? That would be nice. But anyway, let's give her one more, one more video. It's much bigger than that. God believes in that in, in sovereignty and national identity and the sanctity of family and all the things that we've lived with from the beginning of time. And he knows that the open border is Satan's way of taking control of the world through all of these uh, people who are his stooges and his and his uh, servants. And they may think that they're going to become gods. That's what they tell us, Yuval Noah Harari and, and all the rest of them at the World Economic Forum. You know, the ones who want us eating insects, cockroaches and that while they dine uh, on the blood of children. <laughs> yeah. Those are the people, right? They're not yeah. gonna win. We they're not going to win. Well. Okay, so uh, she's now banned. She's not gonna be allowed back on. You'll notice there, he just laughs along as she describes these people as cockroaches who dine on the blood of children and says that migrants crossing the southern border are the literal servants of Satan. 
I mean, she just went from talking about the Global Economic Forum to all Mexicans are Satan's weapons. And she just considers that to be very natural. And look, I'm sure that many viewers of Newsmax were nodding along very enthusiastically to what they were hearing right there. It's all nonsense, these, these people are out of their mind. They believe literally anything they read online. They believe that that guy infiltrated the global cabal or whatever. They believe this stuff about Satan. They can't be in power, Like it's just too dangerous considering the stakes. Any final thoughts, Jessica? Yeah, Leviticus 19.9, where God says nations must have sovereignty, and that is God's will, and immigrants can't come across <laughs> the southern border. Yes, yes, it's right in the Bible. What? These people are wild. By the way, Leviticus 19.9 is make provisions for the poor. These people are not real yeah, Christians. Exactly. Uh, but what would you know? She's the one who's literally speaking for God. She kept saying what he believes. That yeah, seems a little bit heretical. I'm an atheist, you don't have to listen to me, but I don't think you're supposed to talk for God so confidently. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.